Hi folks, welcome to another welding video. Today we're going to be using cutlery to try and make a small bird, kind of like a hummingbird. Um, now in this video, the cutlery I'm using isn't the best, it's quite thin. It's stainless steel, um, which makes it quite difficult to weld with that with the rods, uh, so I did make a few mistakes and you'll see as the video goes on I might have cut bits out or whatever but I will be honest with you about where I've made mistakes and, and what not um, but to start with we're just cutting the tops off these spoons and they're going to be used for the main body of the bird and we're also going to be using three forks and again, cutting the heads off the top of the forks and they will be used for the tail and the wings. The only other things we're going to be using today will be a screw or you could use a nail which we'll be using for the beak and some washers for the eyes. As for welding setup, we are using E6013 rods and I did start with 2mm rods and I ended up down with 1.6mm rods and I think I ended up down about 45 amps but again as the video goes on I'll talk to you about that because you can see where I start with too big a rod and too much amperage and it just starts melting holes through the actual cutlery So I've just time lapsed most of that so you can see all the bits. After we've finished cutting off all the bits I cleaned them up and um, this is just a quick look at what I'm going to use for the beak and I just put it in my vise and give it a little bit of a knock just to give it a bit of a bend in the beak and I was quite happy with how that turned out. So the first weld was putting the tail onto the body. Now I could tell here when I first started welding it pulled quite a lot so I knew I was putting far too much through it as you can see it's not stuck it's just melted right through right through the metal. So at this point I think I just turned down the settings on the welder to try and get a better weld on it. So now with the uh, amperage turned down, I'm still struggling here. Still, as you can see, it's, it's not attached and I'm, I'm still burning through quite a lot. Um, so it takes a little bit of fettling and just trial and error. Again, looking back, if I was doing it again, I would start with the smaller rods. Um, but we did get it attached eventually after adjusting the settings. So my advice would be for this one in particular 1.6mm rods and keep the amperage low about 45 amps. But we got there eventually, it is attached as a tail. We then moved on to the eyes made out of washers and um, they can be quite fiddly so that's why it's kind of cut quite quick here so here I am putting on the beak this is the first attempt of what ended up being three had a bit of a nightmare um, with this first one I tried to to change the shape of it and as you can see there I snapped it 
which was a bit of a pain but I thought I would carry on with it anyway. So then I went ahead and welded on the eyes before realising that I'd made the mistake of putting them on the wrong way up so that when I connected both parts of the body they would be the wrong way around. So it actually looked alright when you see it here. It's just upside down. Which is a problem with that. So then when I come to try again with this one, if we watch this weld, it just shows it's still too hot. It goes right through, snaps the screw. So after a lot of faffing about, I changed down to the 1.6 rods by this point. So we kind of skipped ahead, the eyes are on this time, and this is me connecting both parts of the body. So again the welds are okay, but maybe not the best. But it's all good practice. And at the end of the day that's all this is about for me at the moment. I'm still very much a beginner. It's all about experimenting with the different settings and finding out what works for different metals and different sizes, different thicknesses, etc etc. So now it was time for the wings with these two parts of Fox. The first one went pretty well, got it on quite easy. The second one I definitely had a bit of problem with getting it on um, and I think I burned a bit of a hole through it even with the 1.6 rod and the lower amps. So again it's just about practice, it took a few attempts, weld over weld take it off start again but we got there and that is the basis of the bird and after that all we wanted to do was put a rod on it so that we could put it in a plant pot so this weld was probably one of the easiest of the day because the rod's quite thick that I was using to attach to the bottom made it for a slightly easier weld as we can see there, it's lighting up quite quickly and quite easily. So that's the finished article. Um, as you can see from my face, <laughs> I'm not really that impressed with it. But, as always, it's good practice and it's something. Now I went into the hut, got my Dremel out we sander on it and just cleaned up some of the welds. I had tried to knock off as much of the slag as I could and brush it off. I was just conscious of breaking any of the welds. Um, so that's just cleaned it up and there it is in its finished location. <laughs>